Hey guys, Hayden here again from Alarm System Store, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Uplink 5500M. Uh, this is a cellular dual SIM universal communicator for alarm systems. Um, it actually can be used with other devices, which I'll get into in a moment, but essentially this is one of two communicators that Uplink has come out with recently, and I'll go ahead and get it open here. But uh, if you saw my 5530M video, which is the other communicator Uplink carries, um, you'll notice it's almost identical. The casing, um, the terminal blocks, everything between the two modules is identical. However, the 5500 has a different set of terminals than what the 5530 does. So if you saw that 5530M video, uh, basically what that module is designed to do is to hook up to the core bus of certain compatible panels, which gives you not only um, phone line signal reading, so if your panel is sending out signals through the phone line, you can capture those with it. And you can also connect it to the core bus of a system to give it a slight amount of integration so that you can arm and disarm remotely um, through a Uplink's app. However, this one, the 5500M, is slightly different in the sense of what you wire. So on this one, you actually wire outputs from the panel to the 5500M, and that's what triggers the 5500M to go off. Now, that does mean you don't get any integration with it, you don't get any phone line signal reading, so you're not gonna have like in-depth, accurate um, zone readings whenever a signal is sent from your panel. However, the inputs on this device are able to read the bell circuit of alarm systems. So whenever a siren goes off on your system, um, if you've noticed between the burglary and the fire sirens, the burglary is more of a steady tone, whereas fire is a pulsed tone. And it does that by essentially changing the voltage that's coming out of the bell circuit so whenever it's steady, it's just constantly pushing out power. If it's a fire alarm, it comes out pulsed, so it actually pulses the voltage. This module, all four of the inputs that are on this module are able to tell the difference between the steady voltage and the pulsed voltage, so it can actually send you know, both fire and burglary signals. However, they are just generic signals. It'll just say, there's a burglary going on or there's a fire going on. So. Um, that's the main difference between this. Um, like I said, it does have four inputs on here, and there are also two outputs. So you could, in theory, set up key switch arming if your system has that option. Like I said, the main downside is it cannot read the phone line out of your panel, so you're not gonna get accurate signal readings. But the main reason that this module would be useful is on panels that you do not have access to. This is a great takeover module, and what that means is if you don't have access to the programming, if you can't get in there and adjust things, you literally just wire this up to the bell circuit and now you have a way to send signals. Most communicators that you're going to attach to a panel have to connect to the core bus or they have to connect to the phone line, which means that both of those things need programmed to allow the communicator to work. This 5500M circumvents that by just being able to connect to the bell circuit. It reads that and it'll send the signal for you. So they can be very, very handy um, for a lot of situations where, like I said, if you have, you know, a system that's been serviced by a certain company for, you know, however long and they go out of business or whatever might happen and you end up without access to your system, meaning you don't have the installer code or whatever, you can just pop this on without having to replace your system or have somebody out to reset the whole thing and go through the whole programming process. So if you're just looking for a simple cellular solution to monitoring your alarm system, um, head on over to alarmsystemstore.com. We have both the 5500 and the 5530M and we have the uplink service on our site as well. So we can help you get this set up. Um, today I'm not going to do a whole bunch with this. I am going to hook it up to this DSC Neo board that I have here. Um, we're going to hook it up to the bell circuit. It's super simple. Um, so I'm just going to run you through the process of how you would do that and what it's going to look like. And then um, that's going to be it. I did want to touch on one other thing real quick. Um, I mentioned you can use this with other devices. So this 5500M allows you to basically use any input as a trigger to send out a signal. Now with Uplink's uh, newest app, you can get 
essentially email and text notifications that will tell you when it's been triggered. So if you're you know, in the industrial business or agriculture and you have a device that has an output and you need to monitor it, um, for example, uh, let's say you had a well pump um, that you're worried, you know, if that well pump ever dies or if it shuts off for whatever reason, you need to be notified about it. So as long as that well pump or whatever device it is has an output on it, you can hook this up to that output and it will trigger a notification to go to you if whatever you know triggers that output goes off. So they can be used in a very wide variety of applications. So if you're just looking for a simple solution to monitor um, anything with an output on it, literally grab one of these, wire it up, and then you can start getting notifications about what's going on with your equipment. And basically what you see right here is what you get with this module. Um, just comes with the communicator itself, an antenna that just screws on top right here and then the box has a manual in it which shows the wiring terminals and gives a little information uh, but other than that that's the whole unit so like i mentioned we'll just pull the camera over here i'll show you guys how this would wire up to an alarm system um, it's literally just three wires um, you need positive and negative constant power and then you need a wire connected to the negative side of your bell circuit and that's all it it needs to run the unit so let's go ahead and get started all right, so here we are. Um, I just got the DSC Neo main board here. Um, here is the communicator. I'll show you guys the wiring terminals up a little closer. So like I said, you have your two constant power, positive and negative. You have your four inputs, and then you have the two outputs down there at the bottom. So for wiring this device, um, it literally is just as simple as hooking up the two power wires and connecting one of the inputs to the negative side of your bell circuit. So I'm going to wire the uplink first. Give me one second. All right, so this is what it's going to look like when you get it wired. Uh, literally just red black for the positive and negative constant power. Then I just use the white from the same wire run and that's what's gonna go to our negative bell circuit. So I'll go ahead and hook that up on the panel. Um, I know it's hard to see the terminals on the Neo from there, but essentially um, on this particular board, you got an aux plus and an aux negative. That's where your constant power is gonna come from. And then the bell circuit's right next to it and you just use the negative side of that. And that's all there is to it. Um, essentially, once this unit is activated, if we hook this all up and set up a system, anytime that alarm went off and that siren was, was triggered, it would send out a signal using that uplink communicator. So I'll show you guys this up close real quick. Hopefully you guys can see it pretty well. But we got our red and black going from the positive and negative of the uplink to aux plus and negative on the main board there. And then the white wire from the input to the negative bell circuit. So it's literally that simple. Um, there are, I'm sure, some systems or some applications where you might have to play with the wiring, but essentially the way I understand these uplinks work, that those inputs are just negative triggers. So once that ground switch is on, the uplink is going to see the voltage flowing through it, and that is going to set the uplink off. And that's really all there is to the Uplink 5500. Um, they're pretty simple as far as connecting it to an alarm system. So if you are interested in one of these, uh, by all means, check them out at alarmsystemstore.com. We'll help you get set up. All right, I will catch you guys on the next one.